Hello friends, this is MD Kayyum, civil engineer. A warm welcome back with new video to JILT Academy. Today, I am going to discuss about difference between clay bricks and concrete solid block. So, this topic is a very important topic for a practical approach with which bricks are best for the purpose of construction. So, but before going to discuss in detail, I request all the viewers of our academy kindly like, share and subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get the latest notification. Now, let us move on to discuss in detail what is mean by clay brick. So, basically a brick is a type of block used to build walls, pavements and other elements in masonry constructions. The term brick denotes a block composed of bright clay. So this brick is consists of clay we will be making in a perfect shape and we will be burning. Then it will be called as a brick. Bricks can be joined together using mortar. Mortar is nothing but cement paste. Cement added with sand it is known as mortar. Bricks can be joined together using mortar adhesives or by interlocking them. Bricks are produced in numerous classes, types, materials and size which vary with region and time period and are produced in bulk quantities. So basically the dimensions of the clay brick are 190 mm by 90 mm by 90 mm. So this is the length, breadth and height of a brick. So this is the standard dimension of a brick in our country that is India. Now let us move about what are the ingredients are available in the clay. So basically the bricks contain the following ingredients like silica 50% to 60% by weight, alumina that is clay 20% to 30% by weight, lime 2 to 5% by weight, iron oxide less than 7% by weight, magnesia less than 1% by weight. So after burning you can view this the image you can uh, able to view here this image shows us the these are the clay bricks after burning now let us see about what are the uses of clay bricks are available so the majorly and the first use is about durability these are durable permanent building materials that will stand the test of time so basically it is having a longer du durability now it will second it is low maintenance. The maintenance of the clay bricks are less when compared to other bricks. So basically brick buildings are typically installed either by using precast brick cladding panels or the traditional method of stacking. So next one it is energy efficiency. You can able to get the more energy due to the amazing insulation properties of bricks. They help to improve the energy efficiency of a buildings and it is also having a sustainable and also it is having flexible property so these are the uses of clay brick you can see the image shows are the bricks are filling with the cement mortar now let us move towards the what is mean by concrete solid brick so the concrete solid block or brick is a standard size rectangular block used in building construction so it can be written as a shortcut as CSB concrete solid concrete solid block or a brick are some of the most versatile building products available because of the wide variety of appearances that can be achieved using them concrete solid block has a dimension of 200 mm by 400 mm by 100 mm so depending upon the need or necessity the dimensions may vary according to the requirement so now I have taken the dimension of 200 and uh, 400 and 100 length, breadth and depth or height. So this is the dimension of a concrete solid block. Now let us move towards the what are the uses of concrete solid block. So basically the concrete solid blocks are made up of from cast concrete that is Portland cement and aggregate usually sand and fine gravel for high density concrete blocks are made from cast concrete example portland cement and aggregate usually sand and fine gravel for high density blocks concrete solid blocks possess lower density blocks may use industrial waste 
such as fly ash or bottom ash as an aggregate. So, concrete solid blocks may be of recycled material such as post consumer glass, slag cement or recycled aggregate are often used in the composition of the block. So, basically these are the blocks made up of mainly about the cement and fine aggregate and it can be used in many purpose like uh, industrial and uh, some of the materials may also added in the fly ash or bottom ash etc. So use of recycled materials within blocks can create different appearances in the block. Lightweight blocks can also produce using autoclaved aerated concrete. So you may have heard about the lightweight cement block also. So we will be using about autoclaved aerated concrete. So this is a image showing us about the solid concrete blocks or brick of different dimensions. Now let us move towards the what is the composition in concrete solid block. So concrete solid block when built with integral steel reinforcement are in tandem with concrete columns and tie beams and reinforced with the paper is a very common building material for the load bearing walls of the building. So basically American suburban houses typically employ a concrete foundation and slab with a concrete block wall on the perimeter. Concrete solid blocks are used in wall as an interior fire rated partition walls and exterior backup wall for attachment of building envelope systems and facades. So you can view this is the American suburban houses all the houses were made by a, this type of concrete blocks only. Not only foundation but also slab slab also they plan by using the concrete block walls towards the perimeters. Now let us see about the uses of concrete solid block in construction. So foundations that is concrete blocks are often pressed into surface in the construction of foundations. Circular fire pit solid concrete blocks can be set on end to create a circular fire pit for a patio, barbecue, gardening wall, garden planters, retaining walls, steps, solid patio, barbecues and many more. All the types of the structures can be used for the purpose of uh, these concrete solid blocks. Now let us see about the properties of clay brick. So basically these are the parameters are listed on the left hand side and the properties of the clay brick are listed on the right hand side. So let us see first thing it is also known as clay bricks can be termed as a red bricks, chamber bricks, table mold bricks, clay wire cuts bricks etc. Clay wire cut bricks etc. What is the composition? It is a composition of soil, sand, lime or the other concrete material. Weight 3 inch is nothing but 3 to 3.5 kg, 6 inch is about 4.5 to 5 kg. Advantages 0 maintenance cost, fire resistance, strength 2.5 to 3 newton per mm square, color red in color, load, load carrying capacity, yes, number of bricks per blocks required per square meter is about 43 number. So basically one square meter you require clay bricks around it is a 43 in number. So price of bricks per block required per square meter you will be getting per square meter the cost of the bricks is about rupees 344. Now let us see about the parameters of concrete solid bricks. So this is the parameter also known as cement blocks, concrete blocks, masonry blocks etc. Composition sand, portland cement and uh, coarse aggregate, weight 4 inch 17.5 to 18.5 kg, 6 inch 25 to 26 kg, 8 inch 34 to 35 kg. Advantages, more durable, increase instability and is capable of carrying more loads. Strength, 5 newton per mm square. Color, gray. Load carrying capacity, S. Yes. Number of bricks, per block required per square meter is about 12 and the price of bricks per block required per square meter is 339. So I have explained what is the difference between clay bricks and concrete solid bricks. It is your preference which brick you are going to prefer. So friends, thank you for all the viewers. You can view the 
clay brick of dimensions are available here and you also see that these are the types of bricks are available clay brick and concrete block types so i request all the viewers kindly like share and subscribe our channel thanks for watching